Hi, I'm Dave Piazza from the FJ Westcott Company, and I'm here at Full Compass today to show you our Ice Light 2. Now I'm going to show you a real world demonstration of how you use these lights. I've got my metal carry here, and I've got a nice light to start. Our camera position is right over here. That's where our shooting camera is. Just turn your attention to the camera carry. You've got a beautiful young lady here, and the first thing that I do is I decide what side is my main light going to be on? She's got a part on her hair, so that's where the main light is going to be. I'm going to use the ice light as a main light. And since this has got a diffusion panel on it, it works very much like a light from a softbox. And as I move the light, in fact, move your chin a little bit this way, a little bit more, chin down just a touch, eyes at the camera. That's right. Now, as I move the light, you will see the shadow pattern changing on the side of her nose. Where if I go all the way over here, I can do some split lighting. This is more of a, what we call a long lighting or broad lighting. And beauty lighting is butterfly. That's where I come from up above. And it accentuates the uh, cheekbones and it gives you beautiful lighting on someone's face. The ice light, since it is round, can also do rim light very, very well, where all I have to do is rotate it, and I can do is I can control very precisely exactly where in her hair and her shoulder that that light will hit, or as a hair light. And as I rotate it, you're gonna see it slowly give some highlight on the hair. This will be used in conjunction with maybe a second light. So now I'm going to bring the flex into it as a main light. Now we're using our flex as a main light. And I'm still following the same um, technique where I'm putting the main light on the same side of the head that's got the part. If I put the main light on the other side of her head, her bangs from her hair can block some of that light. And so this puts a very nice shadow right on her face. It's okay to have a little bit of shadow on the other side. And here's where the ice light, or a second light, which I adjust, can produce some fill. And since you've got continuous light here, you can adjust it so that I am dimming it now, so I'm getting a little bit more of a shadow on this side of the head. This is good for portraits, for interviews, all an interview is, if you're doing video, is a portrait that moves. That's all it is. So it's the same basic concepts when you talk about lighting. Uh, same token, a nice light can be used as a rim light. All a rim light does is give a little bit of depth to the hair and the shoulder. You take it away, and you add it. You can see it's pretty stark in what it does. I can rotate it so I can have that light go exactly where I want it to. And this is Portrait Lighting 101. Very easy to do with continuous light. Very um, uh, easy to do and it looks great because these are daylight balanced. I could warm it up if I'd like. There's a lot of versatility I've, I have here since I'm using continuous light. Okay, now we're back with a new model. And here's Beth. Beth has got much lighter hair. She's a redhead. Redheads are very well known to have almost translucent skin, very white, which, Beth, you have. <laughs> her hair is parted on her right, so um, as opposed to what I did with Carrie, I had to move my main light over to the other side. In fact, you can see right over here, very quickly, if I put a light over here, I get shadows from her hair, and that's not, that's not a good thing. So I have the main light over here. I'm going to turn it on right now. I have it at the same intensity that I had the light when I shot Carrie. Um, Beth is that much lighter. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit because lighter skin and lighter hair reflects light more. Dark hair, dark skin absorb light. So typically, I turn things down just a little bit with lighter skin. Same token goes when I use a rim light. Now I'm using the flex as a main light. 
I'm going to go ahead and use the ice light as both a fill and a rim light. So I use it as a fill. In fact, I've got to turn it down. I'm going to put it down to about half power. And you should be able to see a very nice lighting pattern. You're looking right at that camera, Beth, and that's great. Put your chin down just a little bit, head more towards me. That's it, beautiful. You look over that way, nice smile. She's beautiful. Now, the same token goes when I do a rim light. She's got much lighter hair than Beth. I'm going to have to, I'm sorry, this is Beth, lighter hair than Carrie. Sorry about that. Um, I have to be careful how bright I have it. You can see if I put it very bright all the way up, it puts a hot spot on her hair because it's so light colored. And that's the great thing about LEDs that they're steplessly dimmable is that not only can you adjust that intensity very finely, but you see it while you're making the change. So I just use my eyes until it looks good. And yeah, it happens to be about half power, a little bit less than half power. And there we go, it's beautiful lighting. Hair light. One word about a hair light and a rim light. There's not much of a difference between a hair light and a rim light. A hair light technically comes from directly above. A rim light is more from the side. You can put it up a little bit and it does both. It's a rim light and a hair light. And again, the best way to see its effect is to turn it off and then turn it on. It gives a, a, um, a depth to your subject. You want it to look like it's 3D. And the best way to do that is to have some light from behind. And using LEDs that are dimmable and daylight balanced are going to give you top quality and very easy to use. To learn more about the Ice Light 2, go to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales professional.